growing up, you know, eventually, you know, I became much more aware, particularly in high school, you know, about, you know, race and ethnicity uh, it became more apparent. You know, it just you start to notice it more as you get older. Um, one of the things that I that inspired me, you know, probably in high school and a little bit after going into college where I started looking at um, how, you know, things are different for different people, you know. Um, and so um, going through college, learning, you know, taking uh, a bunch of history classes, we technically didn't have ethnic studies, but we did have minority history classes, which uh, would probably fall in with an ethnic studies, reading about their stories, you know. Uh, of the Latinx community, the Asian American community, uh, the black community, uh, and being really involved in college, uh, you know, and trying to build and support uh, people in the educational spaces. Um, that was one of the things that really motivated me uh, growing up because um, I really didn't feel that kind of support, you know, or that knowledge uh, in middle school uh, and high school. Uh, it was uh, very different at that time. And I know a lot of people were struggling you know, like, you know, we would see that on the street, we would see that in our communities, we could see that at home, that people were struggling in, you know, multiple ways, um, you know, financially, uh, socially, culturally, um, there was, there's a lot of challenges, you know, and so, um, you know, so going to college and just being part of, of, you know, student government, also, you know, like the different clubs that I was involved with, uh, really inspired me, uh, to really involve, be involved uh, and, and, and realize that we could change things. Uh, we could do, um, we can make this country uh, and you know, what we want it to be. Mm -hmm.